And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play The Dark Eye. When we last left off we learned that our brother Henry wants to marry the daughter of Uncle Edwin, Elise. Um, yeah. And we were also running, wander, wandering around this strange cellar where there was nothing to do apparently so we shall leave this cellar well, actually we have left we have left the cellar when we left when the last episode ended but anyway we're now back in the cellar and I'm going to go up yeah and I actually figured out what to do um, that guy who well, actually I mistook him for Uncle Edwin but uh, he that is, of course, the servant. The very first character that we actually met in this game. Um, and he doesn't say anything except that one line about you having a bad dream, which is strange. Um, considering that... Well, I mean, how would he know that we had a bad dream? Except maybe that could have screamed in our dream, maybe? Or when we woke up or something like that. Okay. It's not explained and well, who cares? Anyway, um, yeah, we need to provoke a dialogue um, between a confrontation between Edwin and his um, nephew. So first we need to find our uncle, which is easier said than the... yeah. Where is Elise? She's been spending far too much time with your brother. I shouldn't complain because... I mean, I'm guilty of that sin too, but he doesn't do a very swell job of pronouncing things. This particular voice actor, which is William S. Burroughs, if I recall correctly. Anyway, so we have to, so you need to first um, find your brother and then find your uncle again and then you can trigger the following scene. I won't hear it. I simply won't hear of it. Edwin, please see reason. She's far too young for you, for any man. Are you insane? She's your cousin, for God's sake. What of her wishes? Elise is confined to her room, indefinitely. And you, young man, stay clear of me. Hmm. And with this, we enter the strange world. Apparently, Uncle Edwin does not approve of of the our brother's wishes to marry Elise. Um, I mean, it is quite understandable that he doesn't want him to marry his cousin. But, yeah. I don't think that the age argument makes any sense. Let us try to... F yeah, just... Find out what has changed um, in this strange limbo twilight twilight zone like world. Ah, we can drink the wine. Ah. Revenge means nothing, unless the Avenger makes himself known to his victim. Oh. And with this we enter yet... Okay, so I think there are actually three kinds of worlds. The normal world, then this 
uh, Limbo World, which we have been just right now, and then yet another dream, which is this one. Um, and then again, I think there should have been sound when that movie played, but for some reason it glitches out. Some um, Sometimes it, the sound just doesn't play. Anyway, if my um, knowledge of the works of Edgar Allan Poe is correct, then we are now in the work The Cask Amontillado. Um, story about of revenge. Of course, when one takes revenge, one wants to take it slowly. Yeah. One wants to be avenged at length. About a very, a very cruel form of revenge. Um, and we are apparently um, the Avenger in this story. God, the music is quite, quite loud. This should be uh, Venice, um, as the story by Edgar Allan Poe plays in Venice. It doesn't really look like it, uh, except for these bridges that also do not look like uh, the bridges in Venice because they rarely have these um, um, how do you call that in English? Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. It only vaguely resembles Venice, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, let us proceed. I must not uh, only punish, but punish with impunity. It is a poor vengeance that also harms the Revenger. Nemo me impune la cassette. That's um, the motto of the family of this guy. That we are playing in, well, at least in the original story of Edgar and Poe. Um, this is, after all, an, an adaptation where they mixed different um, stories into a more or less coherent whole. And that guy, I don't know if he's eating or just just smelling things. Um, in any case, we can't interact with him. Yeah, me rethinking rith about um, this not resembling Venice. I mean, you have to remember that this game was released in 1995. Um, so that's still a very... Uh, well, I mean, I don't know when around which time Mist was released, but I think it looked a, a lot better. Anyway, yeah, it was still in the early times of computer graphics, so... I think they did, a, did an okay job. Um, hello, sir, without a skull. Sir? Return to the villa. Tell the livery that I shall be out all night. They are forbidden to leave the house. Yes, sir. Immediately, sir. Oh, that's just the shape of his head. Okay, for one moment I thought that... Um, his guard was missing. Hmm, that will ensure their immediate disappearance now that my back is turned. Hmm. Actually, I should, yeah, should have paid more attention. I. Uh, didn't quite get what he was saying to his servant there. Um, something about doing something. Anyway, let us... Ah, there's our servant again. Apparently trying to tell us something. Or is it just the, that the sound is glitched out again? Hmm. There, there was either him doing some sort of pantomime or the game bugged out again. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, let, let us proceed. Uh, Ah. For years I've suffered his injuries, but now he has ventured upon insult. Something about your eyes, your eyes. Yeah, we are playing as Fortunato. Um, or played as Fortunato because I think now we have switched to the perspective of the victim. And that's the one thing about this game which is remarkable that... Um, at least that's what I've read about this game, that you can experience, experience each story from the perspective of the victim and the perpetrator. Wonderful costume, Signore Fortunato. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> can I get anything for you? It would be an honor. Anything at all. Ah, yeah, we are indeed now playing the victim. Uh, perhaps. Oh, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Do I have to rub your belly for that? Oh, the dagger must be worth a thousand florins. You must be cheating me. Um, did quite get that. Um, something about cheating. Hmm. That's all, you're just going to laugh at me. Um... Can't really interact oh, nice with you. Nice Fat lady. Okay. Oh, blah, blah, blah. But with you I can. Probably. No. Mm, signore Fortunato. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to call on me at my villa. I've been waiting for your husband to leave town. Shame on you! <laughs> hmm. Are you looking for your wife? Don't tease me. I'm avoiding my wife. Yeah, apparently he's a cheater, not just in... In more than just one aspect. Oh, nice mm. okay, we've exhausted our... Uh, oh, that woman there. Before we meet our murderer, um, well, future murderer, let us try to see if we can get any more dialogue out of these people. No. So there's that... Ah, there's this guy. The agreements are in place. Tomorrow is the day. Chiano, how I've waited for this moment. We'll be rich beyond imagination. Cliche. Let's drop his belly. Give her some wine. It's a lovely sauterne. Yeah, why not? Young, straightforward, rather blunt, drinkable. Hmm. I wouldn't share my drink with a, a stranger. I mean, you don't know if if that person has herpes or something like that. So, or worse. Anyway, uh. And the happy little tune starts to play. 
just as we are about to meet our end, uh, which is very good um, keyword since we've actually come to the end of this video. Normally, um, this would have ended here, but I think we'll continue because it's a bit difficult. Well, you can't save in this game, so let us try to make some progress before we'll end the video. Um, yeah. When will they clear the streets of these scoundrels? They should be chained up. Ah. Uh, Somehow, somehow I have to agree with him. He's quite ugly. Um, even though, of course, what he was suggesting is morally wrong and despicable, but still, I mean, ah, just look at him. Oh, who's that? Oh, Montes, so it's you. Fortunato, what a surprise. <laughs> it's a lovely party, isn't it? My celebration has just begun. Hmm. Okay, um... Do I have to do something? Hmm. My dear Fortunato, I wonder if you could help me. Yeah, that's one thing that's slightly annoying about this game that well of course it's structured in such a way that we have trigger dialogues but it's not always logical in how you tri trigger these dialogues i mean anyway i'm complaining but i bought a small cask of what passes for a montillado but i have my doubts a montillado lucchese has a discerning palate Perhaps he could take a sip. Yeah, that's the bait, which, with which he lures poor M Fortunato into his fate. A cask of Montagliato, apparently a very rare vine. Uh, not vine, wine. I think it's pronounced wine, not vine. Yeah. A wine, a wine. A a vine is something different. No, we are talking about wine here. Okay. Yeah, this. Ah, no Casey can't tell a monty out of get her water. That's a bit. It is a bit silly that you have to constantly turn your back to Fortunato in order not to the other guy in order to progress dialogue, but. Anyway. Let's go. Where? To your vaults. Let us go. Okay. A cask of a Montiano. Must have been cheated. It's unheard of. Hmm. You are afflicted with a severe cold. The vaults are insufferably damp. They are encrusted with nitre. Let us return. I'll consult Lucchese. The cold is nothing. Lucchese is an ignoramus. It does stay quite true to the original story, as far as I can tell. Um, well, except that the graphic is a bit shit. I mean... Even for this time, it it looks horrible. I mean, the the star background is nice, but this made-up architecture, Blah. yeah, horrible, horrible. Early computer graphics. Well, not so early. In mean, 1995, there were. Much better graphics out there at this time. Um, interesting fact, though, that this game mixes different art styles. So this is not apparently, well, apparently, this is not a rendered graphic, but 
This is hand drawn and looks consequently so much better than the render graphic. Uh, yeah, let us enter the cellar of our future murderer. Um, and this, yeah, you can say see a snake there. That is, but this is actually not the family symbol of the family. Okay. I, I don't know the guy's name, so the the guy that will kill Fortunato. Um, the family emblem is a snake riding a, winding around a leg and biting into the heel with the inscription Nemo me impune la caset. So this is a small reference to that. I don't know why they didn't put on the um, the actual emblem or the actually I think it, uh, it's actually called coat of arms I don't know why they actually put on the actual coat of arms but this is my coat of arms what does it mean no one harms me with impunity most unusual and then he just explains what I just explained and it makes me look like a fool <sighs> Anyway, let us enter. And this is not the coat of arms. Well, okay. Well, maybe they wanted to distinguish this game from the original story. But then again, this doesn't really make sense much. Whereas the coat of arms in the original story by Edgar Allan Poe does make a lot of sense. Anyway, let us enter. What the f Why are there teeth in the wall? I mean, skulls I can understand. But... And these this look like teeth of a giant... Of a giant animal, like a crocodile or even... Yeah. What? What? Okay, that's just... That is just weird. That is just weird. Um, it's dark in there. You won't get far without a torch. Uh, good point. Even though it's not really that dark. It's not dark at all. But let's take the torch anyway. Are you going to torture me? Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Torch. Ha. Torture. Ha ha. I made several jokes there, in case you didn't notice. None of which are particularly funny. Uh, what is actually happening right now? Oh, I... Well, apparently we are now locked in the cellar. Um, no, we are not. What? Or are we? No, we are not. So this is... Okay, I'm confused as to where I am and what just happened. Um, what, what is this? What does that mean? And what am I looking at right now? Okay, anyway, let us go further down. Maybe you are... I just bucked out the game and you were not supposed to turn back at this moment. To look back. Uh, and again, some belly rubbing time. Poor fellows. What a fate. Poor fellows. Not even pronouncing how I'm saying this right, huh? Not having for now. And the sound of stepping into water, and again this. Okay, this must be a bug. Um, this, this, this can't be intentional. 
Anyway, let us explore the cellar. Okay. Uh, doesn't look much like a wine cellar. Because there is no wine. But let us still proceed. So, this cellar sort of looks like someone's, some person's arteries. If you watch the same. <laughs> If you watched the same edutainment show as I did when I was a kid, um, you know the one. Oh, it's the cold of the damned in these vaults. Hmm. I think that's the point of a vault, isn't it? Well, actually, it shouldn't be that cold because in a cellar, <laughs> or at a certain depth beneath the beneath the. Um, surface level, the temperature always um, remains around 5 to 6 degrees Celsius, I believe. Anyway, th that's what I've what I've read. Maybe this is not true at all. And why is there a wind in the cellar? When we the door is locked and there's apparently no exit. And again these strange teeth in the wall. And still I no sign of use another drink. Yeah, they they modified this uh, the original story apparently. Poor fellows. What a fate. What? You're playing that same poorly voice acted um, snippet again? Poor fan. Fan 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 I will not go back through this vagina-like looking uh, corridor till I've made sure that I've explored everything. Well, I didn't. Hmm. I don't know what they were going for with this with this teeth. No. Well, I do, of course. It's teeth play a very p prominent role in a, in a, another. A story in this <coughs> of this game that we have experienced <coughs> just before, but still it doesn't make much sense in this context. Uh, okay, I'm getting a little bit lost here. Wait, now I'm. I'm really lost. Um, hmm. Ah. Ah. Yep. I think this is where we'll meet our uh, fate, or maybe not. Hmm. Uh. Ah. These vaults are extensive. The Montresors were a great and numerous family. Yes, they were. Um, and again, counterintuitively, I have to trigger the next piece of dialogue by turning away. And then refacing him. This way. Uh, which way? Along here? 
Yeah, I would go there if I would know where that is, so... Are you telling me to go there? Come along. I think we have a problem of understanding. Um, I would imagine that I have to leave that area. Hmm. So we've been to the left side. What about the right side? That's the confusing thing. The confusing thing that... My God, these cabins go on forever. Okay, we've... And we've just come back. Okay, I'm... <coughs> this labyrinth doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Which is probably the point of a labyrinth. Yeah. Careful through here. Okay. Uh, not allowed to leave. This way. This way. Hmm. The voice acting is not all great um even though it at least the voice actor of our character is quite good um the voice acting of william s burroughs is shit unfortunately it's really lazy um oh, will we never arrive at least if i if the person i mean i think that the person voice acting Uncle Edwin is William S. Burroughs. Don't actually know his voice. Ah, a new area. And there is some wine. Some wine, not wine. Some wine, finally. I drink to the barrier that repose around us. And to your long life. Uh, what? So he just destroys the head of a bottle and drinks from the sharp edged broken glass. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that that's in the original story. Also, that's very stupid, I believe. Uh, and further down we go. Or not because he just ah. Along here. Yeah. Uh. Okay, and I get now what they, what they were going for. This section, apparently it's a little um, maze that you have to solve. Hmm. It's not really amazing. Amazing. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha. I could use another drink. And so could I. If I would know where the heck I'm going. I can't drop your belly, sorry. The game does not allow me. What's this? You're not a mason, are you? A what? I think he meant mason, but he said something like that sounded like mesem. Well, I've never heard of a mesem.
Uh, are you actually going to say anything? Therein lies the Amontillado. The Amontillado. Or does it? Doesn't really look like that. There, like there's wine in it. Who's your torch there? Okay. Now what? Are you going to chain me to the wall and brick? Um, If I just would know the English word, Einmauern. If you would Einmauer me in. Ah. Uh oh. What's this? Surprise! Ah, and the sound is glitched out again. Apparently, he just explained how he was going to slowly, very slowly kill us by letting us rot in the cellar. There are a lot of dead bodies in here. <laughs> joke. An excellent joke. We'll have many laughs about it at the Palazzo over some wine. The Amontillado. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Amontillado. Hmm. Poor Fortunato had gone crazy. It's, it's getting late. My, my wife will be looking for me. Let us be gone. Yes, let us be gone. Hmm. Yeah, I'm very sorry for that glitch for this for these audio audio problems. It was nice for him to drop in this light, at least, because that means that the oxygen will get used up much faster, so we will suffocate. Well, I don't know which is better, suffocating to death or just dying of dehydration. You would probably die of dehydration, I would suppose, or maybe that is a really cold cellar might even die of hypothermia. Anyway, we, no, we are not done yet. Still have to trigger. Ah, we need to rub it. Tomorrow is the day. We'll be rich beyond imagination. Hmm. Yep. Or tomorrow could be the day where you are still in the cellar. I do like how they sort of tried to show you the thoughts that go around in Fortunato's head, these little 
video sequences. Um. Hmm. Ah, okay. One more thing to wrap. My husband will be away all next week. I must say, this, at this point, this game really um, transcends the original story by Edgar Allan Poe and actually adds something. Because in the original story, well, it just ends with um, Fortunato being killed, but here they sort of try to show more of the perspective of the victim, which is interesting. Anyway, this brings us finally to the end of this video, which is probably already some 30, 30 minutes like long. Um, so when we'll come back, folks, we will, well, continue to play The Dark Eye. So until next time, folks, until then.